Hi, my name is Milani Douglas. Welcome to another episode of Fresh Take. Today we're here with artist Jenny Dorsey, and we she is a part of our project Reclamation. And Jenny, welcome. It's so good to have you. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. So I um, well have been excited about your work since I started to research this project and am happy that you could be a part of it. What are some ways in your practice now that you are finding all these dots to connect between the business world, between your um, observations of the fashion world and your culinary school experience? How does this all together come together and what you're working on now? Yeah, so I think um, in multiple ways, on one way, like on the event side uh, for, through the nonprofit, we've been touring the series called Asian in America. And that talks about the Asian American identity through six courses of food, three courses of cocktails, virtual reality, poetry, spoken word. And that has been a very personal project for me, but I think also kind of personal for many of the attendees of being able to sit in a really curated space. We usually work with different museums um, to bring it to you know, an educational space where you can not only you know, have a great time, eat and drink and whatnot, but also have a really focused conversation with people at your table about the themes that we introduce throughout the course of the dinner. I think too often in food right now, we default to this idea of food being very unidimensionally like a good thing, it makes you feel good, it's all about gathering, it's all about, you know, holidays, whatever, what have you, when food can be and has been a very powerful way of, you know, having people feel ashamed, or having people feel other, or having people feel um, like not welcome, or also simply having being a part of how people dictate social hierarchies within one another and how they form their own identities around that. And so this the idea behind this dinner exhibition is to surface a lot of those ideas, a lot of those kind of um, discomforts at the dinner table and make it a place that is welcoming and accepting to all of those sort of different types of viewpoints, not just I mean, I love food and it's so great. And I would love, love someone to serve me, you know, my food and drink right now. So that's one part of it, of just being able to use, you know, the talent that I do have in cooking of breaking down these barriers of the, the dinner table or the restaurant as something that can be also, you know, introspective and something that can be challenging. On the more of the corporate business side, something that the nonprofit has been working on is looking at the ways that Things like systemic racism and the white gaze are very, very much ingrained in our food society, specifically food media today. And we've been creating different types of toolkits and resources in conjunction with small group discussions with editorial leadership on how do we actually create a path to a more equitable future within, within food media and how food is simply represented in media. And that's a long journey that I think is going to take a while, but we started off this year, 2020, with uh, creating a toolkit about tokenization and food media. And now we're working on a second kind of follow on toolkit that's about um, equitable represents, creating systematic, programmatic, equitable representation in food media organizations. So not only having kind of this individual way to combat tokenization and appropriation, but also how to implement systems that are not hurting marginalized identities and marginalized communities.